right now the biggest and most powerful vehicle that Mazda has ever built. In the high-stakes world of auto innovation, one company dares to challenge the electric vehicle revolution. While giants rush to electrify, Mazda has been quietly plotting a course that could rewrite everything we know about automotive technology. Deep in their research labs, engineers have been developing something that whispers of transformation, a technological breakthrough that could turn the industry on its head. This isn't just another incremental improvement. This is a bold declaration of engineering prowess. A potential game-changer that promises to challenge our most fundamental assumptions about how vehicles should move, perform, and exist in our rapidly changing world. What is the new hybrid engine all about? Let's find out. Mazda's CEO recently made a bold declaration. The company's forthcoming engine is poised to disrupt the entire electric vehicle industry. This announcement has sent ripples through the automotive world, hinting at a groundbreaking development on the horizon. To appreciate the magnitude of this claim, it's essential to delve into Mazda's rich history, a narrative marked by resilience, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of engineering excellence. In 1920, in the aftermath of World War I, Hiroshima's economy was in dire straits. Amidst this economic turmoil, a group of local businessmen founded Toyo Cork Kogyo, aiming to revitalize the region by producing cork-based products. The company initially focused on manufacturing compressed cork boards, a venture that showed promise until a devastating fire in 1925 destroyed 70% of its equipment. This calamity could have spelled the end for the fledgling enterprise, but instead, it set the stage for a remarkable transformation. In 1921, Jujiro Matsuda assumed the presidency of Toyo Cork Kogyo. With a background in engineering and a visionary outlook, Jujiro steered the company toward diversification. Recognizing the limitations of the cork industry, he initiated a shift toward manufacturing machine tools. This not only salvaged the company but also laid the groundwork for its future endeavors in the automotive sector. By 1931, Toyo Kogyo, as it was then known, ventured into vehicle production with the introduction of the Mazda Go, a three-wheeled open truck that bore more resemblance to a motorcycle with a cargo bed than to modern automobiles. This vehicle marked the company's inaugural step into the realm of transportation, embodying a spirit of innovation that would become synonymous with the Mazda name. The choice of the name Mazda for this vehicle was symbolic. It was derived from Ahura Mazda, the god of harmony, intelligence and wisdom in Zoroastrianism, reflecting the company's aspiration to contribute positively to society through intelligent design and harmonious engineering. Additionally, the name resonated with the surname of the company's founder, Matsuda, creating a personal connection to the brand's identity. Then the outbreak of World War II saw Toyo Kogyo contributing to Japan's war efforts by producing weapons most notably the Type 99 rifle series. The war left Hiroshima devastated, but the company's facilities remarkably survived the atomic bombing. In the post-war era, Toyo Kogyo faced the monumental task of rebuilding and redefining its role in a rapidly changing world. In 1960, the company made a significant leap by introducing its first passenger car, the Mazda R360. This compact coupe was a response to Japan's growing demand for affordable personal transportation. Their 360 was well-received, offering an economical and stylish option for the masses. Its success signaled Mazda's potential in the passenger car market, and set the stage for future innovations. Their commitment to innovation became particularly evident in the 1960s when the company took a daring step by adopting the Wankel rotary engine, developed by German engineer Felix Wankel. This engine was compact and lightweight, offering a high power-to-weight ratio. However, early prototypes were fraught with challenges, including durability issues that led to engine failures within hours of operation. Undeterred, Mazda's engineers embarked on an ambitious journey to refine and commercialize the rotary engine. Their perseverance culminated in the launch of the Mazda Cosmo Sport 110S in 1967, the world's first production car powered by a twin-rotor rotary engine. This achievement not only showcased Mazda's engineering prowess but also underscored the company's willingness to challenge conventional automotive norms. Still, Mazda's innovative spirit extended beyond engineering to encompass design philosophy. The company's commitment to creating vehicles that are both functional and aesthetically pleasing has been a consistent theme throughout its history. This dedication is particularly evident in the evolution of Mazda's design language, which has continually sought to capture the essence of motion and elegance. 
In the late 20th century, the company introduced designs that emphasized sleek lines and aerodynamic forms, reflecting a harmony between form and function. This approach not only enhanced the visual appeal of Mazda vehicles, but also contributed to improved performance and efficiency. Their design philosophy has evolved over the years, culminating in the contemporary Kodo Soul of Motion design language, which embodies the dynamic beauty of life in motion. Mazda's journey has not been without financial challenges, however. In fact, in the late 20th century, the company faced economic hardships that threatened its independence. During this period, Mazda entered into a partnership with Ford Motor Company, which acquired a significant stake in the Japanese automaker. This alliance provided Mazda with much-needed financial stability and facilitated technology sharing between the two companies. Be it as it may, Mazda remained steadfast in preserving its unique identity and engineering philosophy. The company continued to develop its own technologies and maintain a distinct brand image. You see, the journey of engine technology is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of efficiency, performance, and environmental stewardship. From the rudimentary steam engines of the 18th century to the sophisticated internal combustion engines and the advent of electric vehicles, the evolution of propulsion systems has been a key component in shaping modern transportation. In the late 18th and early 19th centuries, steam engines emerged as the dominant force in powering machinery and locomotives. These engines operated by heating water to produce steam, which then drove pistons or turbines to generate motion. While revolutionary steam engines were bulky, inefficient, and required significant time to start, making them less suitable for personal transportation. The quest for a more compact and efficient power source led to the development of early gasoline engines. By the mid-19th century, Inventors like Etienne Lenoir and Nicolas Otto had pioneered internal combustion engines that burned fuel within a confined space, producing immediate power. These engines were lighter, more efficient, and quicker to start than their steam counterparts. The practicality and adaptability of internal combustion engine technology soon overshadowed steam, cementing its place as the preferred choice for automobiles. As cars became ubiquitous in the 20th century, Concerns over fuel consumption, environmental impact, and performance led to a series of efficiency wars among manufacturers. The 1970s oil crisis spotlighted the need for fuel-efficient vehicles, prompting engineers to explore ways to extract more power from less fuel. At the same time, growing awareness of environmental issues led to stringent emissions regulations. Governments worldwide implemented standards to reduce pollutants like carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and nitrogen oxides, Manufacturers responded by developing technologies such as catalytic converters, electronic fuel injection, and variable valve timing to meet these regulations without compromising performance. As I have already mentioned, in the 1960s, Mazda introduced the rotary engine, a compact and lightweight alternative to traditional piston engines. Unlike conventional engines that used reciprocating pistons, the rotary engine employed a rotating triangular rotor within an epitrochoidal chamber to produce power. This design allowed for a higher power-to-weight ratio and smoother operation. However, the rotary engine faced significant challenges, particularly concerning fuel efficiency and reliability. Its design led to poor fuel economy and higher emissions, making it less environmentally friendly. Additionally, issues like apex seal wear resulted in durability concerns. The rotary engine is an internal combustion engine using a different process. These drawbacks limited the widespread adoption of the rotary engine, leading Mazda to eventually phase it out in favor of more conventional technologies. In response to the dual demands of performance and fuel efficiency, the late 20th and early 21st centuries saw a trend toward engine downsizing. Manufacturers began replacing larger, naturally aspirated engines with smaller, turbocharged units. Turbocharging allowed these smaller engines to produce power comparable to their larger counterparts by forcing more air into the combustion chamber, thus enhancing combustion efficiency. This approach offered several advantages, improved fuel economy, reduced emissions, and lighter vehicle weight. However, it also introduced challenges such as turbo lag, increased complexity, and potential reliability concerns due to higher operating pressures and temperatures. Despite these issues, downsized turbocharged engines became prevalent, especially in markets with stringent fuel economy and emission standards. The late 1990s marked a significant shift with the introduction of hybrid vehicles, blending internal combustion engines with electric propulsion to enhance fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. The Toyota Prius, 
launched in 1997, became the first mainstream hybrid vehicle, offering consumers an alternative that addressed growing environmental concerns without sacrificing practicality. Then, the early 21st century witnessed the rise of electric vehicles spearheaded by companies like Tesla. Founded in 2003, Tesla aimed to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. The launch of the Tesla Roadster in 2008, followed by models like the Model S, demonstrated that EVs could offer impressive performance, range, and desirability. Tesla's success prompted traditional automakers to invest heavily in EV technology, signaling a potential paradigm shift in the auto industry. But while many manufacturers pivoted towards hybrid and electric technologies, Mazda embarked on a mission to refine and perfect internal combustion engines. This commitment culminated in the development of the Skyactive technology suite, aimed at improving the efficiency and performance of vehicles. A standout achievement of this initiative was the introduction of the Skyactive X engine. This groundbreaking engine combined the benefits of gasoline and diesel technologies by employing the spark-controlled compression ignition. In essence, it allowed the engine to ignite a lean air-fuel mixture through compression, akin to a diesel engine, but with the responsiveness and higher RPM capability of a gasoline engine. The result was an engine that offered improved fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and engaged